we go through our discussion today, I just want you to keep in mind that there's two very different concepts when we take a sort of a giant step back and look at privacy, right? Privacy, information privacy, as, as the term has um, arisen over the past, I would say it's still relatively new, maybe 15 uh, years or so, that the term information privacy has been around. Privacy itself is a concept that's been around for centuries, right? Personal space, private property. But information privacy is that right to control the collection, use, and disclosure of your personal information. And that's really key in, in today's time, right? It's about that flow of information. But privacy is all of the things around safeguarding that information when we think about its data flow. Um, when do we need consent? Providing access to information, which is a requirement under our freedom of information laws. Confidentiality is the assurance that information is going to not be shared. So you go to the doctor's office, you, it's a confidential relationship between you and your physician. Um, but if there's files left at the front uh, that are unattended, uh, the receptionist is really loud on the phone about someone's health condition, then that office has not protected privacy, even though there's a confidential relationship. So it's an important part of privacy, but it's not the be all end all. And, and certainly our responsibility extends beyond ensuring that the information stays confidential, we need to ensure that it stays safeguarded. We need to know where it's shared and who it's shared with. We need to know how long it's retained. That's another one under privacy, right? Uh, it has nothing to do with confidentiality, but if that information is kept longer than is needed, that's a violation of a privacy principle. So let's keep in mind that we want to really look at privacy very uh, broadly. MFIPA, the mandated purposes under the Education Act are we can use, collect, use, disclose information for purposes of educating a child or school administration, or what are often called consistent purposes, right? Anything other than that, we need express consent. Uh, privacy and data security are taken care of under Regulation 823 of MFIPA, where we talk about reasonable measures have to be in place to prevent unauthorized access. And I wanted to focus on the ones that are really technology related. Uh, it's our responsibility to ensure that only those who need the record for the performance of their duties have access to it. And then there must be reasonable measures in place to protect that data from inadvertent destruction. So those are the, the legal requirements. 